people are in the city of destruction. They are dead in their trespasses and sins. They are living under the bondage of mythology and human works that they've got to earn their way to a God that's just like them. That's what men always do. They create you know, religions in their own understanding. And so we make God like us. You know, We're not sure he can be trusted. He's kind of moody. You better pay him off. You better do more good than bad to him or he's going to be angry at you. And so we just kind of march along in this dead idea. That's not the message of the Bible. This is not a book of moral instruction. It does have morality in it. This is a book that tells you the love of God, that he wants to have a relationship with you. You can't have a relationship with him because you, you're a sinner and you're, you're defined by that which isn't righteous and true, but God's not angry at you. You're his child, and so he's going to rescue you. So he's going to pay for your sin and transgression. And all you got to do is go, Dad, I've screwed up. I know I've gone away from you. I know I thought I was better than you. I know I thought I didn't need you. I, I, I left you. I rejected you. And, and, and I didn't believe you were light and life and love. And so I got darkness and death and hatred. It's defining our world. It's manifesting itself in Charlotte. And it's all around us. And, and God's just saying, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Would you come home? Well, you would never accept me. Well, you're right. I should never accept you because I'm a God of wrath and justice. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour out my wrath and justice on one made in your image that is in fact the visible image of the invisible God, the Son, who gave himself for you that I might not sacrifice who I am but that you might come to know who I am again. Just trust me. And then because you start to trust me and you see if I gave my life for you that, that I must be a good God, then just start to believe me. I want you to do well on this little vapor of life that is your experience on earth. I want your history to be different than everybody else who still doesn't know who I am. Trust me, I know your flesh thinks it's smart, but your flesh is, is, is a slave to deception. And you know that because you followed your flesh for a long time. How's that working out for you? Follow me. Take my yoke. 